I mistimed that bite for sure. Hi, <laughs> 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 Salation Nation. Great to be with you. I'm a little hungover, so if you guys could just keep it down today, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm Ben Glebe. This is the Social Distancing Social Club, and I'm very excited to introduce a man who you all know for his quiet voice and for his ability to talk in dulcet tones. Please welcome the second <laughs> leg of the three-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine. Not the brainiac of the group, but he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Isolation Nation, how are you doing? You know, Ben, I was gonna, I was gonna whisper till that last line, but I'm too, I'm too stupid to know when I should whisper to help you. <laughs> if you want to support the show? Please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at SDSCshow.com, of course. Super chat uh, on the YouTube. Throw in those Facebook stars. Oh, and Ben, one more thing. Uh oh, hello. Uh, please that welcome. Was so loud. I have to put on glasses. Please, please <laughs> welcome uh, Chris Bowers, everybody. Chris Bowers. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, so Ben and I are like the Highlander. Only one of us can drink at a time because we can't both be hung over on Saturday. So I'm totally good because I got the text from Ben last night. I knew he was drinking. I'm like, I probably should just lay off the sauce tonight so I can support Steve and be as loud as I want today. So I'm excited <laughs> to be here. Sorry to be loud, Ben. I'm just always this loud. Queen Rachel's here. Queen, how you doing? Queen. I'm bright eyed. I've got eyeballs, unlike Ben Glebe coming in here all squint. <laughs> My favorite part of last night was when Ben at 1.30 a.m. Pacific time started a text thread with the six of us to have uh, Leedy and Taylor on our four person text thread and included the wrong Steve in the text thread at 1.30 a.m. Because <laughs> I'm the dumb one. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're the dumb one, but I'm the drunk one, okay? <laughs> Hey, by the way, what was what was the name of the guy that you added to the text thread as Steve? What's his name? Scott. Scott. Oh, so you were close. You were close. <laughs> Steve and Scott are right next to each other on the phone. Hopefully, you only have four friends. I know you have a billion. So Steve and Scott, I'm sure, are pretty far. You know, this. I understand how hungry for these nipples came about. Now I know what what, what happened. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, after we saw Steve, uh, Steve it is Steve, right? After. <laughs> After we saw Steve's trivia performance, I feel like we needed somebody else in our production texts. <laughs> no, no, that's a very good point. And and Ben, you 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 want you want me to be quiet, right? Like, just, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like yeah. That. Does that help, Ben? Is this, yeah. is this better? Yeah. Dulcet tones. That is good. Okay, Steve got a pack of notes. Fuck cards. off. <laughs> You've got a pack of note cards for the trivia contest. He's going to use every single one of them in the next. No, this is just a note from yesterday that I already used. Remember, it said this on the back. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the same sign. Uh, we had a fun <laughs> overnight game. We had a fun overnight game. It was Cat a song. It was Cat a song. Uh, so Frank Nataro had a uh, kitty little thing called Love. I thought that was funny. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jennifer Story had I think we're alone. Meow. Like that. Yeah, one. Nice. Uh, Jeremy Day had Stephen Wolf's Born Tabby Wild. <laughs> <laughs> like that and uh, but Shag Nancy had my favorite, which was "Rock the Cat Box, Rock the Cat Box, <laughs> Don't shit on the floor." Okay, there we go. So uh, that's the overnight game. No, B Bowers, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear that last one. Can you say it a little louder? No. Don't shit on the floor, Rock the Cat Box, Rock there the it Cat is. Box. For pee, she like it. For pee, she like it. <laughs> Uh, do we have a Night King game? Do we ever post that? Uh, we didn't. We fucked up. We didn't do the Night King game. Uh, we were all so uh, concentrated on what we didn't know uh, that uh, we didn't know to put the Night King game either. Yet another one I got wrong. So. <laughs> I just uh, but somebody could make a montage though of all the times in the two weeks leading up to the trivia contest where Steve was like, "I'm gonna destroy you at trivia." No, here's here's oh. what I. Man, you're yeah. going by down. The way, by the way, I thought me winning would shut both of you up. Can you both just <laughs> shut up? You both no. lost. I don't give a fuck who came in second. I had nine to b all of your sixes. How about we shut up about I trivia for a while? I had seven, but fair enough. Yeah, and also, <laughs> Ben, kind of tie ben <laughs> I never said I was fantastic at it. I said you were bad at it, and I was right. We were just both bad at it. That was what I got wrong. <laughs> no. So, somehow Steve being wrong is him being right? Bullshit. You <laughs> no, no, no. I'm wrong. You're just also hey, you, wrong. 
Yeah, the tiebreaker <laughs> was for first place. There's no tiebreaker for second. You all came in second after me. End of story. Nine, <laughs> six, six, six. Power is one. Okay. What I have learned. What I've learned from this is no matter how many. We discussed this on a text thread, and Scott agrees with us that. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice the votes were five to one, and I'm like, Why? I would have thought Steve would have voted against this, but it was fake Steve that did it. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's good stuff. <laughs> um, I, uh, I I did realize, though, with this, that, like, no matter how how much I think I know, I do not know trivia. Like that, it, like the these specific things, like Oscar categories and shit like that. Even some of the geography shit, I don't know which is the biggest lake. I can just name them. You know, well, I don't. See, it's called Superior because it's the biggest one. That's why I thought it was like it an Iceland Superior. Greenland thing. Honestly, that's why I didn't yeah, choose same. Superior. Same. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Same. But but I mean, what I you they just were described. You. They wanted me to think it was a small lake by calling it Lake Superior. No, actually, it's called Lake Superior because Superior, Wisconsin, is right across from Duluth, and it looked at Duluth and was like, "We're better than that." <laughs> so, see, I know <laughs> the Duluth sucks. Now. I don't you can't know. Make up for it now. But see, but now we don't trust any of your trivia knowledge. Now that we only know you, you get six out of twenty right, I don't trust anything. I've, I've been I've been making everything up this entire time. You guys haven't been on to me. <laughs> Hey, by the no. way, confidence so, is the key Steve, to everything, man. Steve, if you can't take the facts you have and synthesize it into useful information, it's literally just like it's it's pointless. It's like Rain Man counting sticks on the ground. You know what I mean? It's no, like, it is it is definitely use useful information to know which athlete was on the cover of Sports Illustrated more than any others. I you are right. That is correct. <laughs> that I actually I actually once that answer once saved my life. I was uh, I was in an alley. <laughs> And a bunch of guys surrounded me, and I, and they were like, "There's no way out unless you tell me which athlete was on the cover of Sports Illustrated more than anybody what else." Learned, what we've learned. Were you in a Muhammad Ali? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! All right, that is utilizing that trivia. No, you well. did it. You buttoned it up. You were in a Muhammad Ali. Okay. Uh, <laughs> today's game, because we didn't have an in, uh, we didn't have a Night King game, but today's game is um, I am in the midst of a whole bunch of home improvement. I'm building a lot of shit here. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, give any of the hosts or all the hosts a PBS show. And what is the name of it? Uh, so, for instance, um, Ben could have uh, Ben's current items uh, road show. Uh, <laughs> um, or, uh, or he could also have Munster Cheese Theater. Um, and then, uh, Rachel and I can host, uh, the dick and the diction. So just take, uh, wow. Rachel, just remember I'm the dick. Of the the dick. You're the I diction. Get it, I get I'm it. the dick. You do the diction. diction is another word for uh, pronunciation. Words. Yeah. Ra oh, it's it's actually hosting. Rachel shunning the dick in that title. Anyway, <laughs> the point is Stop. Rachel stopped hosting your dick a long time ago, Steve. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> He's been shunning his dick since 2019. I do not like any of this. So what you do is you comment on any of our streams. Don't comment any of the things that anybody else just said. So comment on any of our streams, uh, and and you can play that way. But if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show, what you do is you comment with a tip, at least five bucks of a super chat of Venmo or PayPal. Um, and as always, uh, our front row gets up to three entries for free. Yes, that is a fact. And... By the way, the real reason that Steve is doing a lot of projects with his hands now is we all collectively voted and said, Steve, maybe it's better if you try to make money with your hands for a while. Cause <laughs> <laughs> if we don't know, you know. <laughs> that, am I pushing that joke a little bit too far? Is Steve going to get angry? <laughs> no, I'm, Ben, Ben, I'm, I'm, a, I'm fine with it. It's, See, the, well, the joke you, was you great. Go you, you go from Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, which is like 10 out of 10, to that one. I just love your, you, you've got such range. <laughs> such range when it comes to comedy. You're right, Bowery. Yeah, that, I, gotta, I gotta say, that was, the peaks and valleys of that were just like the Colorado Mountaineers. I mean, that was. <laughs> For the record, I guess. You didn't get that one right either, Dick. I guessed Montana on that one. I didn't get Yeah, it. I didn't get the one. I actually changed my answer to North Dakota because Wendy got excited. I'm like, oh, she's from North Dakota. Maybe it's that. And I, it was not. Yeah, I guess Montana, and literally all that was going through my head was what? like, God, I hope there is some mountains in Montana. I just think it sounds like <laughs> it's a It's a beaut. Oh. <laughs> also, I love Bauer's theory that, that just because I get a good joke in at 12.07, I should just 
leave the show. I'm like, I'll leave. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was not my point, Ben. My point, Ben, was not to leave the show. I love it. I'm saying is I love the shots you take, and you fucking sometimes knock it out of the park, and sometimes you fucking don't get to the ladies' tees, and I'm a, I appreciate that. You know, that's all I'm saying. It's just, it's. A, I just love to fucking go for it. Uh, we have before you do the front row. We have uh, new uh, patrons. So uh, MC Hoo Ha. <laughs> uh, Ken Mahatchek, <laughs> Elizabeth F, aka Rita Rampage, and I think I said Danny Melnick yesterday, but those guys have all joined the Patreon. In fact, right now we are just 124. One we away. One We're at away. 124. So one Patreon away from having a special all Patreon hang this month. All right, here we go. Ben. I love it so much. This is a part of the show where I Pause a little bit, maybe make fun of Steve one more time, and then introduce the video front row. So let's do it. <laughs> Turn on your cameras, video front row. Great to have you with us. We are very excited. We couldn't be more excited, even if we were. <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> You're working energy. at maximum. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. She's breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot when I was getting drunk last night that Bowers and I are supposed to get drunk together tonight. And I'm not sure if I can do it, but we're going to discuss it after the show. Yeah, Ben Ben is wearing those sunglasses for the glare from his computer. <laughs> uh, very exciting. Oh, she's not here. I was going to get her name perfect this, this time. Uh, there she is. Great. We're joined, ladies and gentlemen, by Castles, Castles, Castle Stars. <laughs> Cat. Castle Village. By the way, even he's so hungover that even if he knew your name, that's still as good as he's going to do today. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by Cass Western University. I don't know what you're saying, but I'm sure you're just congratulating me on getting your name right. That's in Cleveland. Why do I know things that don't matter? <laughs> oh, Steve, got... you just you just only know trivia on your own terms you're great at trivia if you're the one making up the questions right <laughs> i think we didn't notice uh, Steve just chimes in with facts we all know random things at different points in the day <laughs> <laughs> we all know i could say oh steve hofstetter shirt that she's wearing made most likely in taiwan it's like we all know shit. but also it wasn't oh. china <laughs> maybe china hmm. Nope. China? Uh, like, let's just, let's keep going. Somewhere keep a little going. closer to here. Uh, well, that's not a way to narrow it down exactly. But... <laughs> I'll give you a hint. You live in the country. Uh, I think Steve's saying your mom makes his t-shirts, Ben. That's not a mom joke, Ben. He was just making you get there. God damn, that was going to be good. Sorry, I ruined it, Steve. <laughs> the background here from Greg Burns Jackson says, Steve didn't win. Yes, but Steve is brilliant and handsome because Venmo gags, says Rachel. And there's Steve in the background with a bong, it looks like. And then maybe if he succeeds, I could date the clone as long as he doesn't start talking about dolphins and wallets and shit. And Bauer says, good things come to humble people. I'm not here to tell you how to turn that lemon into lemonade. I'm not that kind of motivational speaker. I'm here to tell you about how to, to be okay about sucking that lemon. <laughs> no doubt Bowers is happiest about how skinny he looks in that background <laughs> we are also joined by James Nielsen great to have you Nielsen we needed the rating so it's great to have you here I think it's equal to 40,000 families so this is wonderful Blue Corner Bill's joining us <laughs> oh you're still oh, <laughs> Actual it's real snow, snow up there part? That's uh, still snowing. No. Shit. Oh. Wow. It's hard to know that's real on account of it's being obviously a virtual background, but is that I mean, a photo? Bill, not, not to be a dick, I never wanted to be you anyway, but I definitely don't want to be you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got Curtis Mason joining us. The Hello. Mason jar himself. Great to have you, bud. We are joined by dun, 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 dun. Zara Bending uh. here again. Bending the space-time continuum to be here from a part of the planet that doesn't even have a time zone. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> we got David Kelly joining us, everybody. Great to have you here. We're, you're joining us from the public Pikes Place Public Market in Seattle, Washington, the new David E. Kelly drama. We got Peter Amsel here. <laughs> Amsel in distress, clearly, because he's eating banana on bread with peanut butter and honey. Actually, it looks delicious. 
<laughs> no honey. No honey? Well, that's where you went wrong. Maybe well, he was calling you honey, Ben. <laughs> no honey. <laughs> no, Ben, I was giving Peter notes on his snack. I recommend you go to the Yeah, Steve, any cards can be note cards if you try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> We got Brad Clark joining us, everybody. Great to have you, Brad. We got Elizabeth, trivial trivia master F, the fact <laughs> rampage queen. Well done. You killed all of us. We got the other Rachel joining us. Great to have you, Tor. Great to have you, Tor. It's not snowing there. No, it's uh, actually really nice today. It was a little chilly, though. I mean, I, I was kidding around because it's still a virtual background. <laughs> I like people are choosing virtual backgrounds that match the actual environment that they're in. <laughs> um, and if that's the case, Technics, be careful. There is a old school digital image flying at you. It's some kind of stained glass window. Be careful. It's coming at your head. Oh. Technics is coming to us from the last computer my mother knew how to operate. <laughs> Oh, why do they use such ugly design there, the good PC people? We got Roddy Snaff joining us. Hello, Snaff. Hello. He's part Snaff, part Sinner. All <laughs> Roddy. <laughs> <laughs> All Roddy, then. <laughs> All Roddy. <laughs> we got Gus Walls joining us, and that painting's getting more and more crooked. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes and I like Does that. Do you ever think the painting's straight and he's crooked? You see, he's wearing a Gleef Squad <laughs> shirt there, Ben. Or oh, you I did not notice that. that. My glasses <laughs> toned it out. Nice shirt, dude. <laughs> Love it. Your painting's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we got Sean Ehrlich joining us with the IKEA shelving. Oh, great. Right. I need something better. There's not, not a lot to work with in your background, Sean. You know? <laughs> We got Aaron, a.k.a. Elfchild42, joining Sup? us from the police box. What up? <laughs> <laughs> we got Tam Brown with a background that's too loud for me in this case. <laughs> 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 the exclamation point and the caps, but okay. <laughs> We got Frank Berman joining us. Ooh, Frank, Frank looks like he's coming out of the 50s right now. Mm -hmm. Like you're about to go to a malt shop. <laughs> we got Frank Nataro joining us, you guys. Great job hosting trivia yesterday, Frank. <laughs> Good stuff. We got Ken Machachik joining us, everybody. Definitely wrong. Mahachik. <laughs> That's right. It's like hot chick. I'm, I'm I'm you remember. Hot chick. Mahachik, but it's, it's a ch. Is it, is it Mahachik? Is it like, like a Hebrew name? Ch C H A is ha and C E is che. So Mahachik. So Mahachik. Nice Mahachik. Yeah. Mahachik. You got it. Mahachik. Ken Mahachik. You know what I'm saying? Mahachik. Good. Uh, <laughs> more often. You know what I mean? But, yeah. <laughs> we got Anna Hood joining us, everybody from a beautiful field. We got Jen Winkleplek joining us from a beautiful car. <laughs> Jen. To see you, Jen. It's been a minute. Who else we got here in the front row? I'm assuming it's cold where Jen is on account of what she's wearing the hoodie. We got <laughs> still calling it a hoodie. <laughs> Brown is joining us with a new angle we've never seen her from. We're seeing more shelf and less Lindsay, but <laughs> <laughs> you choose to make your own choices in life. We got Josefa, Jojo, yeah. Snyder. I love that Jojo started as a nickname for not us knowing, not knowing how to say Josefa. Now I say both. I love it. I love it. it works out good. Who are you blocking on that backdrop there? You're blocking Rachel Me. and Lady. And Lady. Nice. Now you're not at all. Now you just, if you can keep that position for the whole show, that'd be great. <laughs> we got Ralph, a viewer like you. Oh Lord. <laughs> he and bullshit is what it stood for all along. Who knew it was not the public broadcasting system? That's incredible. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a new tote bag, guys. <laughs> Mine came full. What's 
said mine came full. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> and we are joined by the botanist herself. I've never seen such lively plants in someone's house. Lady, botanist, core botanist. Yeah, that's what my middle name stands for. The E is for botanist, but it's silent. <laughs> Both of them. And shout out to the people that don't have their cameras on, Michael Webb and Shannon Burke. Very cool. Michael what Webb. up? Uh, Shannon sorry, Burke. Shannon, I didn't give you your tickets for two days. My bad. I owe you tickets and some drinks. I, I, I do want to say, uh, ben, this, is, this is my invitation of Ben doing a magic trick. Uh, is this your card? <laughs> Any card can be a note if you, a note card if you try hard enough. Okay, that's a t-shirt. <laughs> that's great. That's great. I love being. We also have two Bondar. great comics as always. Radu Bondar is back. Radu, what's up, buddy? Woo! How's it going? Hey, capitalism breeds innovation, but so does war. So, <laughs> hey, oh, hey. Yeah. yeah, war's important, man. That's why we have too many toxic men. We got rid of war. All right. Uh, <laughs> we also have Kelly Collette is here. Kelly, how you doing? What's with all the fucking geography in this show right now? <laughs> I don't know. Best of Cincinnati background. <laughs> Sorry. I got the book on my board because I thought that was the only thing that I so clever. Uh, yeah, I know that men like to give directions to people, but like, did you guys have to talk about lakes and mountains and countries for the first 90 minutes of this show? Holy shit. By the way, so, Steve, what happened, Kelly? Steve lost at trivia yesterday, so he's trying to make up for it with a bunch of random knowledge today. Yeah, the, it's the only thing I know. Also, by the way, Kelly, I think, I think that your, uh, your note is a bit immature. Uh, I just wanna... <laughs> <laughs> by the way, Ben, is this your card? <laughs> It is not. Is this your card? <laughs> All right, Rachel, we got anything to catch up on? Yes, we do. Technics, let, let me say, before the show even started, he didn't know how Ben was going to intro, right? But he just said, get your engines started, everybody. Rev them up loud. <laughs> uh, our resident mind reader there um frankie berman said here's an oscar fun fact it's not gonna be fun i bet aaron ford, <laughs> aaron ford and i discussed this last night with our friends and two other actors also won oscars for playing the same role it was heath ledger and joaquin phoenix for playing the joker mm. oh, yeah. okay that was a little fun it was a little fun that was super fun, good yeah. info yeah and then lastly very interesting. Pure Firestone thinks he's still cute. And then she says, don't worry, Steve. I'm not a stalker, I promise. I'm an emotionally balanced fan who just wants to marry you. Wait, but then when I say that out loud, I realize it makes me sound a little bit less emotionally balanced. I'll be honest. I thought she was going to be like, I'm just an emotionally balanced fan who thinks that these tips are messing with Rachel, and that's funny. And then it went a different way. It went a different it went, way. It went that way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's about to go yet another way because I just found an Instagram account of Shira Firestone and it's all pictures of Rachel. <laughs> I love you fast you flash is your phone screen like you'd actually found that that was great <laughs> look i have a phone see that's how you know it's true i have a phone like that like the only funny part of uh vegas vacation when chevy chase trying to get onto a bus and he goes fbi and just holds his hand <laughs> all right we're uh are we caught up right yeah. all right let's get to a set come on the stage right now radu bondar everybody Woo! hey can you hear me do i sound Balanced audio wise or mentally? <laughs> huh? Well, look at this. I like this shirt. It makes me look like I sell acid in cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> I got the real stuff. I got bitcoins. I actually have made a lot of money in cryptocurrency, but I don't like telling people what I did. So whenever they ask me, they're like, What'd you do? What was your strategy? I was like, Oh, not crypto. I actually made money in crypt currency. I've been robbing graves. <laughs> on a good tip the johnson family they get buried with cash that's a i'm a i'm a night trader do you get it 
I don't know what's funny anymore at all. I do stand up like once every 12 to 20 days and so much like sheer insanity goes by in reality that I don't know what to tether myself to it. You know what I mean? Like is Rudy Giuliani funny or sad? Is it hilarious? Is it elder abuse? Like I can't, I don't know what direction to go with anything. I know it's still funny to smoke crack at someone's birthday party. <laughs> Especially if you weren't invited. That's the one that's the best. <laughs> show up with your own ideas. I uh, ate my twin. That's why I look like this. Not in the womb. Later. <laughs> <laughs> this is some fucked up shit I wrote during the pandemic. All my jokes during the pandemic are, I mean, just incredibly bizarre. Like, the best kind of sex is always a conundrum. <laughs> I'll let your imagination fill some of that in, but you know you're like, God, this is so hot because you're my relative. Like that's it's always one of those situations. <laughs> I mean, just look at our porn. Like they show you what we like. Where they're not just like, hey, start watching this. It's all stepsister, <laughs> mother, father. Or, I mean, most of my stuff. But <laughs> I just want to come out and say it. I think OnlyFans is too expensive. They need to make a family plan option. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can't afford any of my uh, cousin's content by myself. But if me and, <laughs> and me and three of my own team up, all of a sudden it's on the you know it's on the menu. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just took the second shot of Moderna, so I can't tell if any of these jokes are offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to die. Is there such thing as a Jamaican runner's high? <laughs> 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 Some people said I was the uh, Mozart of eating pussy because I was a child <gasps> prodigy, you know? My dad would drive me around from city to city. Be like, my kid. He can't even see no more. He's blind. He does it by smell. He loves his shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to I, I think a pussy like cold cuts, you know what I mean? I like to eat it with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I write all these eating pussy jokes? The world's on the end <laughs> of its brink. We're like at a racial and economic divide. I'm like, you know what's funny? Eating pussy. My dad loves it and I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> we asked ten hitmen if they thought abortion abortion was murder. The results were shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm a newscaster in that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> my um, my wife and I were both non-religious, but two different kinds of non-religious. I found that uh, very fascinating. Like I grew up in certain mixed religious backgrounds. I learned a lot about it. I thought it was a part of my identity. I would read all these kinds of different things. My wife just never bothered with it at all. She never learned her own parents, anyone else's, nothing. A few weeks ago, months at this point, I don't know when it was, it was Hanukkah, and there was a parade down our street. And I was like, you know the story of Hanukkah? And she was like, yeah, it's when the uh, wise men went to go meet Jesus at the wise man castle. And I was like, dude, that's awesome. That's like Iranian president level offensive. You don't even know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's the wise man cat? Picture that. What are you picturing? Is it like the Playboy Mansion? Where did, what? They went to a poor person's house. Jesus didn't come. They didn't take a baby to an island. It wasn't like an Epstein scenario. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, and on that groan, good night. <laughs> Do Bondar, everybody. Redo Bondar. Tip jar is open if you want to contribute to his OnlyFams. Uh, you can do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at SDSCshow.com. Of course, Super Chat on the YouTube. By the way, Radu, are you sure she didn't mean the Weissman's castle? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how you're bitching about the porn algorithm that's tailored just to you. That just comes up with what you search, dude. That's why the stepsister comes up, because that's what it's you really search. my life. Like, my porn hub is all just I can't leave pretty eyes of women. I don't even, they're not even naked on my porn hub, because that's what I <laughs> So it's just, it's the algorithm. You have, you have Muslim porn hub? What, is, what do you mean? <laughs> also, by the way, uh, Radu, it is still funny to smoke crack at a birthday party, and now we know how you got the shirt. Hey. 
<laughs> this is the third most expensive thing I bought recently. I, I went to a, a place and it was there. And it was like, a, this was too much money. And I was like, it's funny that it's too expensive. That's why I'll buy it. If it was reasonably priced, I might not own this right now. <laughs> I mean, that's the proof. That's the proof right there on how close to the brink society is. Is it's, yeah, let out this. After a year, you see this and this is what your first move. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what people do in life is buy this kind of thing. <laughs> If that was the third most expensive thing, what was the first most expensive thing? Like a hamburger? Like how much did you pay for that? <laughs> I love Shots it. Fired. I think, what is the most expensive thing I bought recently? I'm about to buy my, my wife a hairless cat. That's going to be very expensive. Oh my God, those are so cute. They look like a ball Sphinx. sack. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. We're going to name it a little scrote. Okay, I now, have never <laughs> seen now a girl we know what, that now excited we know about what, a ball sack. Kelly, I love that you're like, that's mm -hmm. so adorable. It looks like a ball sack. I've never so had any Please start an Instagram account. <laughs> but now we know what Kelly's algorithm suggests. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I love, love that it. Mozart joke. I love that your dad's driving around the country going, yeah, he's only in the fifth grade, but he eats pussy at a 10th grade level. I fucking love that. <laughs> we do. I will say that was a roller coaster of a set. That was like... There were there were times there were like huge laughs, and there were times where you were like, "Let's try something new." Uh, I'm blaming mm -hmm. it on Moderna. That was great. <laughs> also, you always Kelly, had that out. <laughs> yeah, you do. Also, Kelly, just based on your comment, if you ever do get a hairless cat, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be I want to be the best though. I get I understand her excitement because I want to be the, I want to be rememberable. <laughs> Bass acts are soft. They're like stress toys, you know, kind of whatever. But like, we never let you play with them. So I understand why you'd be excited about a cat. You're like, all right, this thing isn't all weird about it, you know? It plays back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let people play with them. Roger, that's weird. Uh... <laughs> Rachel, we got coming. We're learning I love how much his Bowers, is. Bowers is very specifically Bowers attacking Robbie's sex and porn interests. <laughs> your, your searches are, are are too weird, but also hey, don't let me hey, play. By the way, that headband that headband just makes me suspicious. I'm sorry, Thank you. this is a weird <laughs> makes me mm -hmm. think there's some nefarious shit going on. That's all I'm saying. I think yeah. actually that headband comes with the Bitcoin. <laughs> That's I much like Jimi Hendrix, I have a little bit of hydroxychloroquine under here. <laughs> just a small amount. What's that? It's a drug that makes you cure, cool. The cure. president talked about it on TV for a while. I thought it was like a wig glue. I was like, you're so hip. I don't even know what you're doing. Do you watch Drag Race? <laughs> it's your cool in a team. That would be uh, fun. Well. Rodney's so not coming in. Make some All look right. like the pole, like, uh, never mind. Thank you so much. You got the vaccine too? Is that why you can't talk? What's happening? <laughs> no, I just didn't want to say something that would maybe reveal the kind of porn that I've looked at. Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> ben, I you don't remember the, like the first first three weeks of doing this, and you showed us a stack of DVDs, and there was a Girls Gone Wild in there, and it was the most embarrassed you ever were. God, that was funny. Anyway, Rachel, so we got Wait, by the way, by the way, at this point in the pandemic, the porn that Ben watches is just two people in love doing it missionary. He's just like, please. <laughs> That's oh, the like hardest to find. Orthodox Jews with the hole in the sheet. I like it. <laughs> oh, stop with that. That was a ghost, Ben. You fucked a ghost. <laughs> That's what Orthodox do. They cut a hole in the sheet. That is absolutely not true. That is a disgusting old wives' tale. That is that's true. That is absolutely true. Some Orthodox Jews. Yes, yes, Ben. You know a great it, Look, I lost at trivia yesterday. Hey, hey, Don't hey, tell hey, me you know more hey, about Orthodox hey, Jews than I do. Hey. Hey, Especially with garbage like that. That is Steve. that is some racist shit. Don't bring that. What? It is. Wow. It's it's garbage. That's a that's a dumb. That's like say. It's, I'm not gonna say what it's like saying because other things are shit too. <laughs> What's a couple I'm examples? Let's just get the tips. Let's just get the tips. Look, All hey, right. that's fine. Um, I like that. Hey, 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 hey. We all have certain things we care about. If this is one of them, he gets it. That's done. Move on. I care about like anti-Semitic things. Well, no, 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 no. Hold up. But you can't call me. Racist. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got muted. Please get the tips. You can't call me racist and not let me respond to it or mute me on that. That's some fucking bullshit. Good, Steve is muted now. That's what's appropriate. I'm yeah, Jewish, first of all, again? so I can. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't no, stop. Let him, let him, he's got to say his thing. I don't no, let him say this. He's yeah, ready to say. Let me let reply. Let me reply, yeah. please, to the accusation, if possible. Exactly. Secondly. Orthodox Jews are not meant to have sex for fun. That is in their belief interpretation of Judaism. And so they have sex simply for procreation purposes. And so they don't do it. And I'm sure it does happen 
all the time with a hole in the sheet. There's nothing offensive about it. That's the way that they do it. And I'm sure if you have an old wife, you put a hole in the sheet. Is that an old wife's tale? Is that what that's What's about? What's offensive about it? Yeah. Why would you go on? Why would you flip anyway, out? And okay, 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 okay. Because we don't have horns either. It comes from the same, it comes from that same bullshit. Ben, you are incorrect about that okay, being okay. a thing. My family is Orthodox. Please don't spread that shit. It's simply not true. Yes, You're, so, I do. Get so, on so here. You want to spread the message that Orthodox Benjamin? Jews are fucking like pigeons. Please, please, They're fucking Benjamin, all. Don't make me do it. Please. I don't know how this. Oh, about the match. My time. This always my happens time. when I'm on. We get into a giant Hasidic sex debate <laughs> every single time. Has anybody ever told you you look like Bjorn Borg? Is that what you're going for? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry to now reveal what my algorithm is. All right, you want to know? Okay, let's let's diffuse some of this tension. You want to know another religion that does sex wrong? Some some Catholic girls will let you do it in the pooper because that's oh. more safe to Jesus. <laughs> how, dare that's that's more dumb, right? how dare you? That's more dumb, right? How dare you, Radu? I know people who are Catholic that would never do it in the pooper. That's hey, some hey, racist hey, bullshit. Hey, hey. I never met any of these girls. I knew they were out there, but I couldn't. I, yeah, I do. I like that in the chat. Someone said, "Finally, he didn't do a set without you know butt fucking." And then, <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you how my dad used to diffuse things. You know, your ass is elastic, tube. You can let smuggle things. Let me tell things. you about some people that gave you money. So we had <laughs> Cam Brown <laughs> gave you five bucks and said, "I have no words." Well, none. I'm capable of articulating at the moment. <laughs> oh no. Right now I'm scared how your dad make you, made you eat your vegetables. Jesus Christ, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I was just hung out too much. That's all I was. <laughs> Finish your peas or you get some. Okay. Oh uh, Kim Stewart <laughs> sent you five bucks and said no words. Jake Parker, five bucks. I laughed. I didn't want to, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> That actually, I've toured with Radu, and that's what it says on the poster. <laughs> it goes, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll regret it. <laughs> yes, this, this is against your values, I promise. <laughs> um, Be like, there's Johnson a reason he has to live in Texas. <laughs> Nathan Johnson sent you 10 bucks and said, yo, Radu, Mo Mozart of eating pussy, child prodigy. That was too much. Hilarious. I agree. <laughs> on the too much part uh sarah adams 10 bucks i love your comedy every time and that shirt that's awesome i knew this would get me I, i'm always whoring out with my uh, attire and always gets me a couple extra tips <laughs> at least it's your attire not your dick um <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a traditional right. comedian yeah <laughs> greg burns sent you five bucks and said i have no words so here's some money what are all these speechless <laughs> people <laughs> Dizzy by nature is for your only fams. Take it. Oh no, that's aggressive. <laughs> Peter Amsel, uh, a couple Canadian, great set. Technics, um, uh, a couple Canadian. Uh, Radu, NFT, that child prodigy joke, and you profit again. If anyone knows how to do that, I tried to mint an NFT and uh, I got it arrested. So just please help me. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> this is actually reduced one phone call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can do Zoom stuff in jail. That's an interesting concept. Hold on, I'll for later. <laughs> we just we just wrote his next ten minutes. <laughs> uh, Zara tipped you five bucks and said, "I came here expecting ass eating, and holy fuck, I was not ready." <laughs> <laughs> I hate the brand that I've accrued. I mean, just you write three jokes that people like, and then you're the ass man all of a sudden. I talk about the Khmer Rouge sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Is that some sort of ass play move I don't know about? What are you <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. We also had Janet sent you 10 bucks for your asset in cryptocurrency selling career. And Brad Clark, five bucks for your OnlyFans. And then we had some Only Fams is that that you guys gave me that. That's such a good name for a joke, like in an album when you need to write it. If people do that, people still write and name their jokes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sarah Garcia Rowe gave you five bucks for your Only Fans startup. Uh, Frankie Angles, five bucks. Eating Pussy, Child Prodigy. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> so did the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then Tam Brown sent a few generals. Ba, 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 ba. 
Um, she said, we don't like it when the parents fight. Uh, ben, we assume you have looked at all of the porn. And then she said, also, I'm with Ben. When do we start having shows on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick note. I just did some speed research and it appears that Steve, that Steve oh. is right. Well, it's important. It appears that Steve is right that it's a myth that they would have sex through a sheet. So I want to clarify the record. I just didn't think the way that you came at me was necessary, but correcting the record on the fact. <laughs> I, I appreciate, I appreciate that, apology? Ben. For sure. Oh. <laughs> For sure, buddy. Thanks, Ben. Um, yeah, because Ben, it really fucked up my tip cycle over here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, by the way, Radu, half your tips came in just to shut the two of us up, so. <laughs> Classic stock market at work, baby. <laughs> what should we fight about after Kelly said? <laughs> All right, we're ready. Now to say something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Radu! If they get divorced, it is your fault. Don't think it wasn't your fault. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna sit you down. We're gonna be like Radu. We just want to make sure that you know that all of this was your fault. <laughs> uh, the judge says we're not gonna see either of you. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually given custody of you to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're ready for Kelly. We up? All right, yep. coming up next. Kelly Collette, everybody! Yeah. Um, first of all, I want to say, Redu, you have such a good energy, and I'm very jealous because that's very hard to follow. So, congrats. <laughs> that is not a backhanded compliment. That's an actual compliment. I don't know. Waiting <laughs> for a burn. No, that's you're the sweetest advice. person. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I just feel like one of the things that women do well is we compliment people very specifically, like we'll pick up something very specific and it'll make you feel very warm. Um, like girls will compliment you, like they'll be like, I like your eyebrows or like something very specific. I feel like guys compliment you in the most general way. Like I asked my husband one time, I was like, how do I look? He's like, you look good. And I was like, specifically what good? He's like, specifically the head and the body. <laughs> and i was like that's encompassing in me thank you i asked him one time i was like can you give me a compliment that's like not about my looks and he was like uh well i thought he was going to be like you're a very kind person you're a strong woman you're very funny or something but he was like you have good handwriting and i was like fuck it compliment my ass <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sex is dead in our house, guys. It's completely dead um, because we got Tempur-Pedic twin mattresses that are adjustable. Yeah. No way you can fuck on two separate mess ma mattresses pushed up against each other when one of us is elevated. Elevated like we're 90 years old and someone has to spoon feed them vanilla pudding. Do you know what it means? It's a vanilla bed. There's no fucking on there. The dog is laying in the crack. We haven't touched each other in about a year. It's amazing. It's so well. Like when we were first married, we would fuck on the back of a bed book. That's how dirty our bed was. You know what I mean? Like we would do it anywhere. And now it's just like, should we... Should we just look at each other? Like, we can't even look at each other. He's up here. I'm down there. It's um, like, I used to worry when we first got married. Like, the first thing I would worry about was, like, whiskey dick. And now I worry about, like, these dick. You guys ever get too many in there? And then you just can't? All right. So some of you might rec recognize me from the show before. Uh, the rest of you might recognize me from um, my dad selling you weed in the early 2000s. Some of Sean's, Sean's right. Yeah, he, you recognize my dad. My dad was the town drug dealer in our small town. And everybody in the town knew about it, except for me. I had narc written all over my fucking face, you guys. They knew I was going to grow up in being RA. They were like, don't tell Kelly. Everybody in the town knew, except for me. Everybody in my high school knew. I remember this one time this guy came over uh, to my locker and he was like, hey, I was thinking about coming by your house after school today. And I was like, oh my God, that would be perfect because my dad's gone. We could we could have the whole, and he was like, oh, your dad, no, I'm going to need your dad to be there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> 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 you're right. You're out this stuff. Um, <laughs> There were signs my dad was a drug dealer. Like he kept a scale in our kitchen, like a measuring scale. 
which I just thought he was on Weight Watchers. I was like, good for yeah. you, dad. You know, he's been obese my whole life. I was like, good for you making that step. Really proud of you. <laughs> um, and then he would call me sometimes, like on my way home from school, and he's like, hey, Kelly, um, I need you to pick up 200 sandwich baggies. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember being like, oh, man, I picked up 200 sandwich baggies last week. doesn't matter how much you move your food, dad. You're still going to you eat 200 sandwiches a week. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Radu was talking about religion. Um, most of you guys knew I had a little four way into witchcraft when I was in middle school. Yeah, really into being Wiccan. <laughs> Uh, Killy, all that stuff. I uh, I had this one memory come back to me recently. Of, I used to steal my mom's spices out of her spice jar and like rip the mm. labels off because I was looking for old apothecary jars. Um, I, <laughs> I would just pour the spices in one big bowl and I hid it under my bed. It smelled like, you know, disgusting potpourri. And I remember my mom cleaned my room one time and she found the bowl of spices under my bed and she was like, Kelly, why? <laughs> Why would you do this? And I was like, so Scott will like me, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> I like um, I grew up in a, uh, a Christian household, like many of y'all, uh, which had the worst music. Uh, can we all agree that Christian music is the worst? Specifically, <laughs> thank you, Frank. Specifically the song, Frank might have heard this one, Christmas Shoes. Have you guys heard Christmas Shoes? <laughs> If any of you are laughing, seriously, oh. there's this shoe, there's this song about a boy and he is trying to buy shoes from a store, uh, but he doesn't have enough money. Yes, it is awful. He says to the cashier, I want to buy these shoes for my mother, please. It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just her size. I want to buy these shoes so my mom looks beautiful when she meets Jesus tonight. <laughs> That's the song. Oh, 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 oh. So many questions. First of all, why does Jesus need her to wear high heels? What kind of misogynistic lord? <laughs> like, hmm, what shoes is she wearing? She got those Kanye's on. I don't think she gets the lines up here. There's Jesus's. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. All right, this is sacrilegious. No one's coming in with the Yeezys. Also, like, what a good power move. Uh, for a Christian radio station uh, to play a song about a little gay boy picking out shoes for his mom. Um, what else did I put? Sorry, this is all new, guys. What, who has to put on shoes when they die? That the best part of dying was you didn't have to. Um, oh. Time I have left. Um, but I know there was a fight before this, and I, I really think we should all make up. This, I'll tell you what happens when I fight with people. I pout a lot and I usually am in the other room. And the best way to stop a fight with Kelly is to microwave popcorn. That's the only way to stop it. the only way to get me to talk to you. Because you smell it and you've got to make up immediately because you're like, I want some of that popcorn. <laughs> it just walks into the other room like some kind of olive branch coming into your mouth. You can yeah. smell it. Like pussy coming through rugs. I don't know. I'm trying my best, guys. Is it working? What is this thing? Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> Colette, everybody. Kelly, Colette. Tip jar so is good. open. Kelly. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com, of course. You can super chat on the YouTube. By the way, uh, Kelly, two things. One, uh, it's fun that your sex life is so rough now. Even your pudding is vanilla. Um, <laughs> But also, uh, specifically the head and the body, that uh, I've been quarantined myself for over a year. That's my algorithm now. Just that. <laughs> uh, and Ben, also, let's make up. I'm making some barbecue. You want some? Oh. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? It, mean, it means, like, popcorn ain't going to work for you. You need, like, <laughs> or food. Oh, God. Yeah. You're a fatter oh, soul. Yeah, man, that's very sweet of you. You live in another part of the country, but I love the sentiment. Yeah. <laughs> also, I, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I just wanted to say, um, I know this for a fact. All Christians buy shoes for their mom on Christmas. That's for sure. <laughs> All of them, 100%. <laughs> Here, my question, sure Kelly, is, don't have enough money. Yeah. is your husband's name Scott? Scott Bakula? 
No, just Scott. I just want to see if the spices worked. I don't know if the spices worked. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, that'd be a great turn if the Wiccan story turned that that was Scott and the not, spices worked and now you're married to him. Not only did she marry him, but... Sorry. This is why I do this show, so you guys write me tags. You're so funny. Dude, I'm just I love you. are the original Spice Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling bad. Wicked not on, Spice. <laughs> not only did, uh, did Kelly end up marrying Scott, but uh, the spices worked so well he got added to the text thread. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I tell you guys something gross? I keep floss um, by my desk, so every time I do social, di I floss right before I come on the show every time, and it's like the only time I remember to floss. So thank you guys for <laughs> honestly, this show is keeping me away from the dentist. If, if, so if you wanna, you. if you wanna tip Kelly so she could uh, afford to floss regularly. Um, we could do that. But also, I just want to add that one of my favorite kind of behind the scenes if you're a comic things is in the beginning of the set, and Kelly, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the beginning of your set, you gave a very nice, wonderful, genuine compliment to Radu, and it was just a way for you to get into that compliment. Yes! <laughs> I'll be a part of that any day. Are you serious? Most times, <laughs> <should I remember. laughs> very genuine. Yeah, if she was like, follow you, if she was like, like oh, yeah, speaking of big dicks, and then she would reference me before, I'd be like, I, I'll take it. Like, that's, that's a <laughs> joke. I'm fine. His energy was good. I felt weird about following it, and I was like, maybe I can, because I, I wanted to compliment him anyway, and I was going to go headband, and I was going to say, he makes me feel like a basic bitch, because I can't wear mine that cool. <laughs> um, but yeah. Consider... No, so Did I'm you consider fake. after the set, before your set, going and getting some spices to like get the right mixture before your set? <laughs> There's been a lot of props here. Like I have this just in case. You guys know how I always pick something off my. I still have the baby, the gender reveal stick. <laughs> nice. um, but no, I didn't have any spices. Yeah. Well, so. I, I I got one more word for you. Uh, Jesus making you wear, wear high heels is misogynistic. I think it's misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> I like Christmas shoes a lot. I thought it was. It sounded like a carol written by Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> it was also. Baby I do like the idea. <laughs> I, I like the idea of of uh, Yeezys for Jeezys. Yeezys. Uh... <laughs> I didn't have that written down. That was off the top of my head. I felt... And I'm sorry I was swiping on you guys while I was doing it. It's just I was I was watching and then I saw somebody texting and I was like, no, you don't get my jokes. <laughs> as as she was as she was doing her bit, uh, our faces were coming up, and she was just swiping left the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate this. He's not paying attention. I thought you were you were trying to psychologically or subliminally program us because you would touch your screen and would just say Kelly Collette real quick, and then go oh, back. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck. Subliminal marketing. Work. I love it. Rachel, Rachel what do we got yeah. coming in? All right, so we have Greg Burns, Jackson, five bucks. Pretty sure I owe your dad for a couple joints. <laughs> <laughs> he got his. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that people have given you a nickname. They, they call you KC in the chat. So KC, uh, wishing you Calipagias bed bug back blowouts. <laughs> yeah, that's good sex. <laughs> that Thank you for a nickname, guys. I feel like I'm on a sports team. <laughs> uh, this feels fun. Uh, Peter Amsel gave you five Canadian for some popcorn. Zara, five bucks for crave. Uh, now I'm craving vanilla pudding and popcorn pussy. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. The way they serve that at Applebee's now. Yes. Gotta... Oh my god, I'm mortified. <laughs> <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> Oh, busy by nature. Sent you a couple bucks and said, "Casey, wafting pussy, playing at the Roxy." <laughs> uh, Jake Parker, five bucks, so you can buy your own popcorn. Uh, Sarah Garcia, real Steve, she beat you to the joke. Five bucks, Jesus for Jesus. No, no, I was saying I like the. It, I wasn't giving her a tag. I was saying I really like that part of her set. Okay, oh, stop yeah. sending me popcorn money and start sending me shoe money, okay? That was, <laughs> was all a metaphor for how you should buy a woman's shoes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fr Frankie Angles gave me five bucks and said, I don't understand how Jesus wants high heels when he sported sandals in the sand. <laughs> yes. 
spirals. I'm like, you guys are all right in my new bits. I'm going to have a new outfit in this. I just wrote sandwich down. When, so. when there's just one set of heel prints in the sand. <laughs> It's because I fell down because I can't walk in our high heels. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like half a shoe and a peg leg, actually, is what that would look like. <laughs> we had, let's see, Alexander Breyer tip you and said, how do I get in touch with your dad? <laughs> uh, I don't know. How do you call jail? Does 911? Oh. oh my God. 911. <laughs> Hello, 911. I'd like to talk to Kelly's dad, please. That's not this. No, that's the wrong number. Kelly, he's, uh, he's asking which county. Yeah. <laughs> that's for Casey's dad. We'll know who that is now. <laughs> He'd be like, KFC? Everybody gets <laughs> Uh, Chili League Dogs sent 10 bucks each for the comics. And I like that I just realized I've been calling them Chili Lee Dog, and it's just Chill Lee Dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, Chili, right? But Chill, so whatever. Uh, More geography. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about the country? Chili? Yeah. Uh, Brad Clark sent you five bucks. We Thank also you, Brad Clark. Kim Stewart sent you five bucks, said, I love you. Savannah Martin, $17.84, and said, you are so, so, so talented in so many ways, but you're also super hot. Thank you. <laughs> Who said that? Savannah. Savannah, you're going to get a thank you card. Send me your address. <laughs> um, Tam Brown sent you five bucks. You are a joy, an absolute joy, wonderful set. Thank you, Kim. And then there was Women a channel. Will come <laughs> Technics had said bickering boyfriends bigot butter olive branches mm -hmm. hate that person <laughs> I hate that oh, person no. I like him a little but like <laughs> when he does shit like that I don't like him that makes me feel like I was bad at comedy that comment no. that just made me feel bad no. what the alliteration mean? yeah the no. green Big green booger? Is they're that trying to, They're trying to make Rachel say terrible stuff. Yeah. They, it's, it's, it's a quote to make <laughs> herself. Because she mispronounces things and it's hilarious. She did it you right that time, so it wasn't booger. fun. But when she fucks it up, it's hilarious. So people try to mess with her. I was like, I tried my best to look presentable for you guys. My bad. Hey, if we were gonna if we were gonna ban Kelly Collette, it'd be KC and the fun time dad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, we're ready for the game. All right, let's play this game, everybody. Well, the game today mm. is just make up a show that you think, think is appropriate on for the sure. host, one go. of the hosts. Um, <laughs> and I had, I think, so I had one unpaid that I really liked. Ellie Mays, uh, this is for Ben. Where in the world is Carmel? San Diego? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Love that one. All like right, any so show with a comma in the title. <laughs> uh, if you're in our front row go to reactions and raise your hand frankie berman so kelly and reju these are the ones that we're going to start to vote on okay. hell yeah so here are my three so i also have where in the world is ben gleave <laughs> <laughs> nice i have uh ginger street for steve <laughs> and my last one uh ken burns civil's war <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're muted. Oh my God, the painting. This is how we know Gus lives in LA. It was just an earthquake yeah. while he was sitting there. Uh, nah, I think he smokes that much weed, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have X Men, the animated series starring Wolver Queen. Uh, <laughs> um, I have Ben Glebe versus Food. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. And are you smarter than Chris Bowers on chocolate blueberries? Pam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I have four. I'm sending another thing in Venmo. Um, yep. I have uh, <laughs> Fast Food Facts with Bowers. <laughs> Steve Hofstetter's unique road knowledge. Uh -huh. <laughs> Leib's gastronomic journey. Nice. 
and hand gestures through history hosted by Rachel Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah. So I have Ben's hot tub experience <laughs> and steel city limits <laughs> and this old church. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shannon Burke. Um, I have Reefer Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Can go anywhere. <laughs> Master Penis Theater starring Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and Doctor Who's Up for Shots with Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bill. Oh, no. Uh, the snow's it, affected your microphone, Bill. What is happening every time? <laughs> you know, sound boy. <laughs> there we go. Turn it up. No, oh, and it's not where we go. No, we wait, wait, wait here, Bill. If you put both of your hands on the headphones like this and then say, turn it up. Like it might work. <laughs> Turn it for what? There, there we go. go. <laughs> be loud. Should you be talking while you're driving your truck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, reading Rachel. Ben's <laughs> <laughs> uh, porn series, National Geographic Special Edition. Ben's <laughs> <laughs> <And> baked. <laughs> Greg. All right, I had uh, How to Motivate a Fifth Grader with Chris Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel Gallagher's The I Won't Date Him Game. <laughs> Dicing up vegetables like hecklers with Steve Hostetter. <laughs> I tried to get Bowers as a special guest on that show, but he heard vegetables and he was like, no way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ralph. I have C, same street. Starring Rachel Gallagher. That's so good. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> no, I have two more. Uh, Mr. Hofstetter kids pranking him in the neighborhood. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. I don't even remember ever having a picture with that expression on it. Oh, it's from your ring doorbell camera. He ha he hacked it. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I want to see Steve's um, train. Trivia uh. per sparkly suit. Starting to <laughs> 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 All right. That's it, right? That's All it. right. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a, a hot treat. chick. I've got uh, Rachel's I Can't Read It Rainbow. <laughs> uh, ben of Glebe Gables. <laughs> uh mr bowers neighborhood nice. and and uh instead of bob the builder hoff the builder <laughs> nice. Jackie. hey so we've got antique shit show the glebe collection <laughs> <laughs> that's great living in castles with gallagher <laughs> Baking Rad, a Chris Bowers experience in weed, speed, and greed. <laughs> Angles. Okay, I got. I thought it was good. Ready. Okay, I got three. Um, I have uh, Unexpected Genius, the Chris Bowers start surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, surprise is what makes that funny. The Chris Bowers yeah. surprise is hilarious. Yeah, yeah half, st half saying story and the surprise Tim, Tim. is so funny. Yeah. 
Okay. My pimp tales um, of my 20s and 30s. You hear that, Carmel? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the Ben Gleep story, obviously. And um, <laughs> then take the stage and own the crowd by Steve Hofstetter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else in our front row physically wave at me if you want to do any on camera? I don't see any hands. Okay. So these are the rest of them. We had Sarah Garcia Rill at Sesame Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dave Adler, Glebe's Antique Globe Show. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Adler, he wants you to know it's in a similar vein to his first entry. Random crap room with Ben, random crap room show with Ben Gleberman. I know, I know, pot meat kettle. <laughs> Adler just wants you to hire him as co-host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first step, Dave, is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> Kate Howard, the history of merch. Your host, Steve Hofstetter, his philosophy. You can sell uh. piles of stuff without selling your soul. And yes, he does have one. In this episode, ancient Greek playwright uh, Ostrophanes creates this bobblehead doll after a production of frogs and a bit too much wrist uh, animation by Lady. <laughs> <laughs> A whole elevator pitch, huh? I, I love the point where Rachel doesn't understand what's happening anymore, and she just reads the words without any comprehension. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's word salad, almost. She's like, I don't know these words anymore, so I'm just going to say them in the in the order they am, and hopefully you guys figure it out. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I hate and when that she you doesn't, tell. And when she doesn't know the pronunciation, so she just kind of flies through it, but you say, I'll please. <laughs> Uh, and then she, her second entry, followed by the next installment of dining while uh, dining whilst bowling with Ben and Chris. <laughs> I think she means a different kind of bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, the oh, other wait, Rachel, Rachel your, your flower painting to your right just came alive and is coming through the frame. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. The other Rachel had celebrity celebrity cribs with Radu Bandar. <laughs> uh, Wendy Peterson had one. Buckle in. Bold with Bowers, a travelogue of world cuisine featuring vegetable phobe Chris Bowers, who finds out after the fact that the dishes he tastes are, in fact, mostly vegetarian. A cross between Anthony Bourdain, Carson Milk, <laughs> and Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive Ins, and Dives. Holy fuck. <laughs> I would watch the shit out of that. Great. Every time it's the same. I don't care. Every time it'd be funny. Every time. <laughs> he's like eating. He's lot. like eating. <laughs> You're watching a lot of shit. If that was a show, because I would, it would destroy me for about. Because the end credits. Sorry, Redo. Just yelled a joke. Sorry. I said, That's like, okay. He's, no. he's like, "You're telling me this is crickets? I don't give a shit." As long as there's ranch on them. <laughs> uh, Ellie Mays had host writer. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Brett Steinbuck, Ben's Joy of Painted Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and then he has one Steve's Are You Being Heckled? <laughs> yes. And then last one, Kim Stewart, Hoarders. Can you find Ben? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, there's some good ones. Holy cow, I liked uh, This Old Church was good, Reefer Rainbow, and Master Penis Theater was very good by Shannon. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, Technics had Antique Shit Show I liked, but I gotta Ooh. go with Ralph's C Same Street. God damn, that was fucking <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's so dead on, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> C Same Street is my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, what was your vote? <laughs> I also like Reaper Rainbow and Hand Gestures Through History, but I gotta go with Bowers C. Same Street. <laughs> nice, <Yeah>. Radu. <laughs> Take a look. It gets you hooked. The Reaper Rainbow. I don't know. I like that one the most. <laughs> a lot. Right. I really like the, the uh, C. Same Street and um, Antique Shit Show. <laughs> yeah. I, just would, I would watch that, I think, the most. I'm gonna go <laughs> with uh, Reaper Rainbow. All right, Ben. Sorry, I have to go antique shit show. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Rachel. Um, I like this old church from Anna, Reefer Rainbow, and I, I, I hate 
that I'm choosing this one, but <laughs> I'm gonna give it to C Same Street. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> victory! Uh, Steve, what do you think? <laughs> I like this old church mainly because I'm gonna pitch it. But <laughs> uh, I gotta say, this it was an interesting game because very, very rarely do do the fans in mass come at Rachel. Like <laughs> they hit they hit me and Ben and Bowers all the time. But I think maybe because Ben and I were coming at each other this episode that they were like, we're gonna just we can't make fun of Bowers. He just won trivia. We're going to make fun of Rachel. So, uh, see same street. I almost fell out of my fucking chair. That was <laughs> unbelievable. I love, that was great. I love jokes you have to put together in your head, Ralph. That was the, you have to make, make the joke in your head and realize what it is. That was fucking great. So good yeah. job. Thank you. Congratulations, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. If you want to e email us, claim your prize, uh, Rachel will begrudgingly fulfill it. <laughs> or I won't. Uh, <laughs> Kelly, do you have any? I have two. Okay. Um, so I didn't watch PBS because my dad was a drug dealer. So <laughs> <laughs> I had the wire written down a couple. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I wrote Under the Umbrella Gleep. I don't know if you guys I watched that. And uh, Punky Brewstetter. <laughs> <laughs> Radu, you got any? I just had one. I had this old heckler. <laughs> <laughs> nice, they go, right? You got it. They go and tour different no, I don't. people. I don't have any. Steve, you got any? Uh, I only have one, since three of the four of us are divorced. I just have this old spouse. Powers <laughs> 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 host it twice. <laughs> hey man, once you get married twice, I'll get married seven times. I don't give a fuck at this point. <laughs> once you know it's not forever, who gives a shit? Bowers <laughs> is like, yeah, whatever. Give me the paperwork. It's fine. It's I fine. Could, I could spend probably six, eight years with you more. I could probably do that. I bet. I probably could. <laughs> that happened. Is Ben here? What happened to Ben? Bowers has been married more times than he's eaten vegetables. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I said something the other day, I go, they, they, oh, uh, uh, Lindsey Brown was making fun of my AOL email address. I go, look, here's how old I am. I had an email address and a cell, I had a wife before I had an email address or a cell phone. So I already had a wife before I had an email address. That's, my, that's how 47 wow. is. You had a wife before I was born. <laughs> right? Wow. Wife before you were born, lady. Your parents are younger than me. That's the sad part. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, I just want to announce there's a new level on the Patreon. You can marry Bowers. So, uh, uh, by the way, we have some international fans. Maybe we'll get some green card marriages out of this. Bowers <laughs> are opening up, Bowers. There you yeah, go. I don't want to be presumptuous, but Zara, would you like to move to the United States? No, I'm kidding. I, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the other way around, considering how much we fuck things up here. So. Yeah, that's, that's true. I have to be very to get there. I get it. Uh, ben, do you have any game entries? I did not. Okay. Well, <laughs> then it's time to sing the song. It's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time. It's time for ladies doodles and maybe an animation at the end. I don't know. Uh, hey, Corbin. Not today. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All, right. It today. All right. Uh, starting with the introduction of Scott as one of the four hosts of this show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Scott looks like. This is my assumption. That is that is so Scott, lady. Great. Very far off, but it did just make me think of a great song. What if Scott was one of us? <laughs> what if Scott? Just a host me. like one of us. <laughs> just a white guy on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> and then next I have Muhammad Ali. <laughs> makes sense <laughs> then we have uh, check your lighting <laughs> are you allowed to draw Muhammad Ali I'm not sure you're allowed to draw that am I not oh my allowed God. to draw that <laughs> you can't draw the boxer Muhammad it's really uh, <laughs> then I have uh, I got the good stuff I got bitcoin <laughs> I don't know if I drew Kelly's dad or Badu, but <laughs> then I have. Uh, is this your dad? That's my dad. Is this your dad? Yeah, that's my magic trick. <laughs> yeah. Magic Mari. Yeah. 
<laughs> then uh, next I have the OG Spice Girl. I need <laughs> Scott to like me. <laughs> <laughs> what if huh? Scott wanted Kelly's puss? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Redeeming Glebe. <laughs> Just a stranger on the bus. <laughs> then I have Yeezys for Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. and okay, I that Googled... drawing looks really Christian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Googled what Yeezys looked like. They're so fucking ugly that it They're didn't so even look ugly. like fancy Thank shoes. You. They're disgusting. Mm -hmm. Why would you ever buy these? But uh, then I made them red and they looked better. So, yeah. all right. <laughs> now we have <laughs> Isolation Nation! <laughs> also it was such a pleasure to wake up at two in the morning to text from ben drunk texts in this weird random thread it was fantastic All right. yeah Le lady if you're gonna hang out with comics more you're, you're gonna have to put your phone on night mode <laughs> and then uh last but not least i have Fresh new flavor, pussy flavor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it for me. Zero <laughs> calories. That's what uh, art for my heroes at LadyCarbon.com. They don't need oh. salt. It's great. Sorry. Kelly <laughs> 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 South. She <laughs> smells popcorn. Her husband smells pussy. That is great. I love it. So <laughs> funny. <laughs> Oh, all right, we did it. Uh, Kelly, where do we find you in the world? How do we how do we follow you around? What you got coming? Guys, I'm coming to Louisville and Pennsylvania and a bunch of other places. If you go to kellycollettecomedy.com or follow me on Instagram, I sometimes um, post my schedule. So at Kelly Collette for everything. Thank you so much. Awesome. We'll see you next time. Love you, Kelly. See you next time. Radu, how do we find you, buddy? Hey, I'm uh, just put my name into stuff. Radu Bondar. I'm not going to help you spell it. You got to figure it out. But I'm doing a new thing. I don't even push my own shit. I push my friend's podcast. Check out Zach Dixon's podcast. It's called The Problem Attic. It's based out of San Antonio. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I, I don't tell him I'm pushing it either. I just randomly want like 30 new people to listen to it and then him to later feel indebted to me or something and give me $40. So check out The Problem Attic. <laughs> It's so good. It's it's so very funny. I've never seen someone put more work into a podcast uh, that shouldn't do it at all. They shouldn't have made it in the first place, but it's so funny. Check just, it out. Just one question, Radu. Are you a giant in a tiny room, or is it what's happening there? Uh, it's 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 called the world's worst advice show. Basically, the problematic. You bring your problem. Uh, you right now? Are you standing in a room right now? That's like oh this, oh this back thing over tall? here. Your head looks like you're right, going to hit the ceiling. That's not a ceiling. That part of the wall behind you. Oh, that was weird. No, Respectful. no. Like that was a ceiling coming over your head. Why do you put? We're on, uh, I think what's confusing, Ben, is you put a painting on the floor instead on the wall where it's supposed to mm -hmm. go. So Ben is confused yeah. by what's happening. Well, I'm uh, very uncoordinated because I'm always on drugs, so it's hard to work with a hammer and nails. I just leave my paintings <laughs> on the ground. But I, but safer. I, I, but the perspective, Ben, I see what you, that, that chair rail that's in the middle yeah. of his wall looks like the corner of a ceiling like, mold. Yeah, uh, Ben, I don't know if you know this, but the last time someone with that hairstyle uh, got stoned and had nails, it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Those Italians killed him. Remember that? <laughs> Disgusting. Oh All right, Roddy. We'll see you next time. Yeah, we love you, buddy. See you next time. As for me, you can find me at Bowers Comedy. Uh, this week we have uh, Kelly Collette is going to be on Origin Stories. So come check out Kelly Collette's Origin Story on Wednesday. And then Thursday, Federal Bar in North Hollywood. If you want to come to that, if you're in the L.A. area, shoot me a text and I'll tell you, or message and I'll tell you where to go. Uh, ben, what you got coming up? Just a quick note. That Jew for sure got fucked through a hole. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, dude. That a call back? Yeah, I don't know. Wow. I don't know if Puerto Rico uh. is going to vote to be a state, but they did just vote to not have Ben wear that shirt while he tells that joke again. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, uh, tonight, Greg Proops and I make up comedy on the spot. Who's line style? Get tickets. It's at Nowhere Comedy on Zoom. You can use the code SDSC for a discount. It's going to be a lot of fun. 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Please join us. <laughs> hey. Uh, so, uh, I have two more director's commentary shows coming up this month. Um, and also, Taylor, if you would, uh, show a picture. What?
yeah, uh, Taylor's going to show a picture of, uh, of a gig I have coming up. Uh, it's really important to me. It's a place I've been wanting to play for a while. So uh, here we go. Uh... <laughs> I am not performing there, but I walked by it and I was like, holy fuck, I need this picture. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I love fully vaccinated Steve in a mask on an empty street outside. God, you fucking <laughs> just follow through and I love you, man. That's fucking great. <laughs> you have no, it, there were actually a thousand people right on the other side of me. You just can't oh, see them gosh. right there. Yeah. yeah. It was, you know, I'm being nice. Get rid of people. You're the opposite of the I'm being service. nice. <laughs> awesome. Great. Anything to get, catch up on before we get the audience out of here? Yep, uh, Curtis Mason General doesn't quite work for the game, but religious MythBusters too. Comedians bust each other's balls while also buff- busting myths about religion. <laughs> In the words of uh, my dad, that's Curtis, a lot of busting. Curtis, it didn't work for the it didn't work for the game or the show. We found out earlier. So. <laughs> And then lastly, uh, Ellie Mae took the show for Rachel because you're such a good sport. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. And I do want to plug our Patreon, Patreon slash SDSC, and we got to 127. So what? we're going to do a full Zoom hang here soon. Nice. Thank Let's you, everybody. Now. Yeah, we got C Bear and Chris David are in right now. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much, guys. Uh, night game, night game, night game. Oh, there we go. Good job, Ben. How do we do this? Yeah, they really did that for us, actually. Well, oh, how do we do it? We didn't think of what the night game spin. <laughs> and we can't do it because it's not a. It's not a. We can't just be like restaurant us. I mean, I guess make restaurant a host. Make us into okay. a restaurant. That'd be fun. Make us into a Can restaurant. You have an example it. of this. Apple Benz. Our <laughs> <laughs> Bowers. I don't. I don't know, but. <laughs> I'm try and make a uh, red cake. redhead redhead Robin. <laughs> there we go. We'll figure it out. All right. So yeah. uh, or buddy. or or if you want a Rachel a restaurant, you go to gift for days. Gift for days. Well, audience, thanks so much. We love you. We'll see you Tuesday at our normal time, uh, 3 p.m. Uh, e- Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you that on Tuesday. Uh, Rach, anything you want to say before you get out of here? Yeah, I just want to say, so that text thread last night, totally new. Ben was, like, shit-faced, uh, sending us very lovey-dovey messages, which was extremely cute. Um, but I'm more offended that I messaged Scott in the group chat and told him good night and nice to meet him, and we never got a response from him. I know that was some bullshit. That was rude. That was some, that was rude. But wrong that was Scott. Bull- wrong. Wrong Steve is the dick. I'll tell you. I just. Don't know. <laughs> That's why you guys thought he was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All right, guys. I'll see you Tuesday. I, 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 actually, I have a theory. This is probably the 14th time that Ben's accidentally put this poor Scott guy into a text thread he wasn't supposed to be into, and he just stopped responding years ago. That's what I'm assuming has happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, night, guys. All right, we'll see you guys Tuesday. Love you. Hopefully, we can drink later, Ben. I don't know. You let me know. You call the ball. It's your job. Okay, I will let you know. I will let you know for sure. I'm feeling a bit better, but, you know, I also... TMI. I don't need to say what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As as requested, I just want to speak oh, very oh, softly oh, oh, and oh. say goodbye. <laughs> now that now that Ben's feeling better, it's not funny anymore. So right. <laughs> I just wanted to anybody who's in the front row might this might be helpful for for if you guys see this card right here, right? If you see this card, I don't know if you can see the angle of the card. Can you? I hope that you can.